Welcome to episode 2 of Mr. Puzzle. Today we will have a look at the Hanayama Marble Puzzle. As usual for Hanayama Puzzles, it's built from metal, so it's pretty solid and heavy. Gives you a nice feeling during the handling. And um, as usual for the Hanayama Puzzles, they're coming in these uh, boxes with a rating on it, so the maximum is 6, this one is rated 5 out of 6 and um, the, the target is the same as for all Hanayama puzzles you have to you have two pictures here on the rear with a assembled condition and disassembled condition and you need to disassemble the part, uh, all parts and um, assemble them again and then you are done and in some puzzles you will notice that disassemble or assembling the part is much more difficult um, I'd say the disassembly is much more difficult than the assembly on some and other way around so basically when you look at this one you have a, a um, so-called marble in the middle which contains uh, two parts as we saw on the rear side of the box and we have um, two outer parts and um, you will notice these two outer parts can be shifted like this and what's most people what most people will try is to somehow twist this here apart but there's a actually a pretty simple trick um, which uh, most of the people find out after a while and this is um, the part cannot just be disassembled like pulled apart here in this direction or in this direction or twisted here around no the trick is um, you have to bring this edge here of the marble in the inside in alignment between uh, with, with these two edges. Yeah, that's the trick. So more or less like it's now. And if it's like this, you will be able to twist the two parts apart like this. So very easy solution if you know how it works. And um, if done you can easily disassemble all parts so you can see here the two parts um, that co are contained by the marble and um, you notice it's it's really smooth and excellent built yeah so the parts are able to very smoothly shift shift in together without uh, stucking or anything so it's, it's really nice really well, well made um, puzzle but unfortunately a little bit too easy from my point of view so um, the assembly in the end is the same as um, the, sim the disassemble, disassembly and um, what you will notice is a lot of people will solve this puzzle um, randomly by just handle it and if the marble is in the right condition it just the parts just fall apart but um, if they really understand what they did and how they solved the puzzle you will see if they can do the assembly again so because they will try now to assemble like people who do not understand what they did during the disassembly will try to assemble the parts like this uh, or something like that and um, it's fun to watch it because um, a lot of people yeah when they solve it they proud oh yeah I did it within some minutes but then the issue starts and they're not able to assemble it again because they just didn't notice what they do to solve it. So to assemble it again, you uh, again need to align this edge, this edge and here this one on both sides like this and then you put one part behind the other one like this, put them together oh now the, the marble sh uh, shifted again, I need to align it again, put them from the rear um, together and then just as you did during the disassembly shift them in and that's it it's magic <laughs> so it's um, actually it's pretty nice so the disassembly as mentioned is very easy can be done also randomly unfortunately but um, the assembly is uh, more difficult, so I would it not. Uh, I would not rate it maybe like five stars out of six, as done by Hanayama. I maybe would give it a maximum of, of four stars. Anyway, it's a 
well-made puzzle and it's always fun to, to play with it again. And yeah, I hope you like this video and um, in the future I will also continue to um, to explain some other Hanayama um, um, puzzles because I have a lot of them and um, yeah, if you enjoy, enjoy this video, like it and um, like this channel to stay tuned for further videos.